If you're looking for any Ultimate Team Coins, make sure you check out JustFifaCoins.com and use JMX at checkout to get 5% off all your purchases. They're an instant service and also very, very cheap. Yo, what's going on? It is Joel here and welcome to a bit of a different video today. So, as you probably know, Lionel Messi is the highest rated player on the game. And he's actually dubbed to be the best player on the game this year. Like, the years before, he hasn't really lived up to his rating, but this year, apparently, he really is amazing. Now, as good as Messi is, there is one problem. And that is his price. It is astronomical. Two million coins is roughly what it will cost you to get yourself a Lionel Messi. Now this is exactly why I'm doing this video today. I want to be showing you the cheap Messi. The player that isn't as good. I'm not going to say he's as good. But the player is closest to Messi stat-wise and everything else-wise as we can get. I also actually have a really nice squad build around him. So it's a squad builder, cheap Messi sort of video combined into one. But yeah, we're going to waste no time and get straight into it. The cheap Messi is Mario Zarate. Now... I know Matt HD Gamer said he was a cheap Messi last year, and I know it's not an unknown fact that he's very similar to Messi, so I'm not trying to say that. I'm literally just saying this is a squad builder with the cheap Messi in, and this guy this year is even more like Messi, I believe. Like last year, I didn't think he was even that good. This year, he's amazing. Honestly, everyone's got amazing goals going record with him. Everyone's saying he's amazing, and so yeah. This guy, I think, is the closest you can get to Messi. He's got four star skills. He's not left footed, he's right footed, but he's look at his stats, you look at his stats and you think they're not that much like Messi's, but because he's a 77 non-rare player now with this FIFA, or with all FIFAs basically, non-rares, they play better than their set stats suggest for example, Zarate feels like he's got 86, 87, maybe even 88 pace, he feels like his dribbling's way higher he finishes everything and basically, he just it's the same with Silvers, or just even low rated players they get sort of handicap, I think and that basically just means they play way out of their stats would suggest. So here we go. This is the team we're using him in. And this is an amazing non-rare BPL team. It's very cheap. I think it's under 20k, which is awesome. And obviously, we got Zarate up front there. Um, in goal, we have Vorm, who's really good. And then the centre-back pairing, Kolo Torre and Kabul, both with 74 pace and decent defending and physical stats. Literally, if you're an attacker and you see you're playing against Kolo Torre and Kabul, you literally may as well just go home. You're just like... Why do I try? Colo Torre is just going to munch me, and I've got no chance. Like, Colo Torre. Like, there's, he's just unplayable. Left back, we have Luke Shaw, 82 pace, which is an absolute disservice. He's way faster, but he is a good left back, and pretty much the best non-rare left back in the Premier League. Now, Yamma isn't the best right back. I'd say Raphael probably is, but he's a lot cheaper than Raphael, and I wanted to keep this team under 20k. And I think Yamma definitely does the job. He does well for me. He's steady. He defends well. He goes forwards pretty well. And he's got good all-round stats. At CDM, we have Schneider. Now, he is a great player. He's got great defending, great physical. He's got really good passing for me, even though his stat wouldn't suggest him. He's actually the highest-rated non-rare card, equal with, actually, Tadic, who is at the cam. Um, so I just think Schneider's really good. He sits in front of the back four and cleans everything up. Then we have Tadic, 74 pace, 80 passing, 82 dribbling. Really nice stats. He's a really good creative player. And he sets up many chances for my two strikers. Yanazai, left mid, four star skills, four star weak for 82 pace and 81 dribbling. And um, he's a hidden gem this year. He's so, so good to play with. And then Moses is another little bit of a hidden gem. 84 pace and 80 dribbling on him. He looks pretty good. And then Danny Welbeck, the black Pele. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. The cheap Pele, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, he's good. He is very good. I honestly, I was sort of torn between him and Kone. I tried them both out and Werbert just edged it for me. And he's like, he's so good. He just runs through. You, we'll see when we play a couple games. And then obviously finally we have Zarate, who we think is the cheap Messi. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you the cheap Messi or tell you this team is good. I'm going to get into a couple games now and I'm going to prove it, hopefully. But maybe not because I'm bad at FIFA, remember? Nope, that is a bad issue. We need to be positive. We're going to win. Yeah. 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 We are up against a very good team. Insigne, Hal Callahan, and Giovinco up front. They're three very pacey players. And overall, it looks like a really overpowered team. So we're going to try our best to beat it. But it could be hard. Zorato through. Lovely play. Oh, what a finish from Zorato. The cheap Messi already six minutes in. And I fake shot it back and then finesse it into the corner. That was a really nice goal. And we're one nil half already. I, t I told you he's a beast. I told you. And he's gone and scored straight away. Wow. I, oh, I always switch off after I score. Always. Oh. I think that is either Yan Yanazai gets the header in. Who would have thought Yanazai would be banging in the headers? But I'm not going to complain. I don't know how the keeper hasn't managed to save that. What an absolute market. But that's 2-1. And I'm happy with that. 
Zarate gets taken out, and that's a penalty. Zarate wins the penalty. Absolutely bundled over by the keeper. Look at this. He just kept his legs. Zarate won it. So he's going to be the one to take it. I'm so bad at scoring penalties. I'm not going to lie. Come on. There we go. Zarate puts it away. No mistake. And that's 3 1. And I've just taken him out. That's it. That's a penalty for sure. Oh, he almost saved it. He just dived out of the way. No. Oh, Zarate's giving him a slip. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. He's so good. Oh, that was beautiful. What a scoop turn. He has scoop turns around everyone. Look at that right in between. And that is an incredible finish. Don't take anything away from that finish. From that angle, I didn't think he was going to be able to put that away. Finds Zarate. He finds the back of the net. Easy as you like. Little outside of the foot. Rage quit. Yes. Zarate tears him apart. How many goals did he get? Jesus Christ. I think he might have got four. Four. Do I need to say any more? Zarate got four, and that just rhymes. Call me Eminem. Right, so he proved how good the team and Zarate is in the first game. Can we do it again in the second game against an even stronger team? This is like the best Serie A team you can get. So let's see if Zarate can get even more than four goals. Now, that, that's definitely not going to happen. Not against that defense. But if we win against this team, which is worth like, what, 100? No, probably about 200k. I think Popper's like 60k alone. Um, then I will be very, very happy. Oh my god, how, how do you even stop that? Tevez just banged it in and there's nothing I can stop. Zorate through, can he get there ahead of Buzz Ugly? No, he gets ahead of Siglio, but he can, and he can run all the way through, and he can finish. That all happened way too fast for me to explain <laughs> at the time, but that is an incredible goal from Zorate again. Look at this, holding off the challenge of the Siglio, who had all right to get back in there, but he holds him off, finesses it into the corner. GG Buffon. His name was actually GG, so I was going to say GG, and I was like, GG Buffon. So, yeah, we scored. There we go, Zarate's just turned Barzali. That was incredible how he's done that. And he's still going. He's still going. Puts it into Welbeck. Puts it to Yanazai, who P rolls it into the keeper, but it's offside anyway. But did you see what Barz... Oh, sorry, Zarate did to Barzali. He literally left him on his ass. Zarate. Inside again. Inside. Ref. He's tackled. But he's going to come back to him. He's going to scoop, turn it round. Can he finish that? Yes, he can. What a goal. He's just so good. He's so good. That is incredible. Look at this. Little back heel. Scoop turns around, gets away, and then finishes that superbly. GG Buffon again. GG. Zarate's away again. So much space. Can he finish it this time? Referee. Oh, that's surely a penalty. Are you freaking high? Are you high? Oh my days, how has he scored that? Carlos Tevez, two goals for him, and what a free kick. Holy shiznizzle, what? Um, hats off, if I had a hat, I'd take it off to that, because that was good, that was just world class. The typical scoop turn, and it's inside, he's gone a bit wide, but no, it's not too wide for Zarate, makes it 3-2, getting his hat trick. Um, and that's two hat-tricks in a row, and he's just so good. The scoop turn works every time, and he brings it inside. Thought I'd taken it too wide, but not too wide for Zarate. Great finish, and there we go. GG, Buffon. Zarate's at it again. Oh, no. No, please, someone stop it. Someone stop him. That's his fourth goal. He's too good. Like, honestly... What can I do? He's too good. He's he, he's almost he's pretty much as good as Messi. Like he must be. If Messi is much better than this guy, then I don't even know how good Messi is because he scored four goals, two goal games in a row now, and he's literally unplayable. Tadic, bang, hits the post. Well back, gets the finish. Yazai providing the assistance down the left wing. Tadic hits the post, but Welbeck makes no mistake. All right, guys, so that's the end of the game. We won 5-3, and Zarate shining through yet again. Four goals for him, another man in the match of performance. So, guys, this team is insanely overpowered. I've played three games with it, and it's won all three by quite a big margin. As you can see, Zarate actually scored a hat-trick in the first game I played for him, which I just did, uh, did as a warm-up game. So, he's got 11 goals in three games. I'm going to be continuing to use him. I'm going to be continuing to improve that goal-scoring record, but that is just outstanding. It speaks for itself, I think. And for 1,100 coins... 
Uh, you just can't go wrong. Overall, this team is amazing. Just go out and get it. It will do really well for you, I promise. You could get Raphael right back or a couple of improvements to the team if you've got the money to do it. But I wanted to keep it under 20k, and it is an amazing team for 20k. Danny Welbeck, three goals in three games with two assists as well, so he's not doing bad whatsoever. Five assists for Tadic in four games. And yes, yeah, so this is an amazing team. If you did enjoy the video, please do smash a like. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more cheap big players. I'm doing a cheap Ronaldo soon. A cheap bail, some more of those, and we're looking for those out. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those, and some more insane squad builders and pack openings and stuff like that. So yeah, subscribe. So yeah, pretty much that's it. I hope you did enjoy the video. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.